Okay, this is the old uh, school that we know. Hebei Gangye Dashwe. And that means Hebei Technological University. She left her shoes on the window ledge neatly together of the women's tseso, that's John, Charlie, and took the leap from the building next to mine, 15th floor. Didn't hear about it till the next afternoon. The university tries to hush it up. It had been cloudy that day, one of those gray, still ones. Hadn't passed her English exam to graduate four years for nothing. Senior girl in chemistry. I knew two senior girls in chemistry. Doesn't show up in the paper or the China Daily, the New York Times. They have to tell the parents at some point. Most Chinese don't have any firearms, and maybe pills were hard to come by. So when the students had had enough, more than enough, they used the tall buildings at the Dashway, at the university. You wondered what they thought in those last few seconds. Maybe they were so filled with terror they didn't think of anything. Sometimes after one of them had jumped, you heard some of the other students making grotesque jokes. It seemed callous. But the Chinese had a strange attitude toward death. There were so many people in their country, one or two more or less, what difference could it make? Unless they were your friend, or a member of your family, or yourself. There had been a student whose girlfriend had jilted him, jumped from the fourth floor at the other campus, but he had lived. So the next week he tried it from the fifth, paralyzed from the waist down that time. They mocked him. But this time it was different. Many of them were devastated. One told me 40,000 students and not one counselor. At the next school in Shanghai, Someone pointed out which building they jumped from and told about the student from the poor western provinces who had won a scholarship to this prestigious university but couldn't cut it, didn't want to go back, shame-faced. Korean kid who'd crawl around outside looking in the windows of the girls' john, but this time the girls lived on the 11th floor like some mad voyeuristic monkey, slipped when someone called him out, took the long fall. When you are in these systems of education, in the passing of the years, so many come flooding past. First you are a student, then a teacher, this school, that one. It seems you have known whole armies of them colleagues, students, classmates, the different countries, and always one after the other, nasty exams, some graduate, others flunk out, still others have to take absurd jobs, a few think better of the whole thing. In the end, you have for them a kind of leftover affection. You wish you could have led them back from the precipice. But in this life, there is often no coming back. Strange, you wondered if the toilet had reeked of piss, as they so often do in China, where she left her shoes on the ledge. But you haven't forgotten her, whoever she was. One of us, we lay claim to her. And this is about Hebei. Yeah. You know? And it and it was uh, a, just like I said, a senior girl in chemistry. So within the next two days, I called up the two senior girls in chemistry that I knew to make sure that it was or wasn't them. It wasn't. Oh. So I never really knew this one, but she died. No, nothing in the paper. No. So so I found out in in Qingwangdao. 
whatever happens like that, they always try to hush it up. See, always there's there's this damage control. Uh, like like at Ching Wong Dao, the students were starting to get run over in that main street in front of the school, and so at the end. At the end of that year, I was there, two dead and three seriously injured in the last two months of school. And what they were trying to do, instead of change the situation to make it safer for the students, they were trying to hush it up so that people didn't find out, so that the other students wouldn't know that they were slowly being picked off by this traffic that ran across this road. So, so in the end, that asshole straw boss of mine, I said, hey! What about that girl that just got run over? When are you going to do something about that? Where did you hear about that? Oh, <laughs> I what the foreign teachers weren't supposed to have heard about it. So. Uh -huh. Wow. So, so, so that same totally exploitative, brutalized attitude, see, runs through all those schools because it runs through the whole society. So, and, and, and at that last school, I got to meet the president of the school, and he was unbelievable. I came into his office, big, strong, tall guy. He, he's sort of like a lion or a tiger sitting there in his chair. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and the, the other guy, his assistant, said, now tell him your story about the problem you're having. I thought after I told him my story, maybe he would be just like a tiger and bite my head off. <laughs> <laughs> so how was he? He, w he was weird. He listened to my story and he asked me some sort of obscure, absurd questions. And then he said, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> So I thought, I don't know uh, whether he, he'll eat, eat me later <laughs> or for breakfast tomorrow <laughs> or actually help me. And in the, end, I, I, in the end, they cut me some slack. But I didn't know if it was him or just expediency or, or why they cut me the slack. 